Hey guys, so back in October 2022, I had a dream about a chatbot that was able to answer questions that no previously released chatbot had been able to. For example, I could ask it to write a sonnet using only made up words that don't exist in any language yet were still pronounceable, and it would write that. I don't know why that's what I wanted it to do in the dream, but that's what I asked it to do. Also, for whatever reason, if you were transphobic to this chatbot, such as by doing the attack helicopter joke that is so stale that my high school APCS teacher said it in 2018, a golf ball would fly into your house from the nearest window and break your kneecaps. But long story short, I basically had a dream about ChatGPT around a month before it was actually released. In the dream though, it was Wolfram Alpha that made it and not OpenAI, but that doesn't matter. ChatGPT can be smart sometimes, but it can also be very stupid, such as the whole how many R's are there in strawberry thing, which has actually since been patched. But you want to know something else it can't do? The thing with the sonnets that the fictional Wolfram Alpha golf ball chatbot from my dream can do. Yeah, even on the latest free version of ChatGPT, it keeps wanting to put real words in my no real words allowed poems. I then ask the bot to count how many real words were in the poem, and it does, and then I ask it how many real words should have been in the poem, zero, and then I ask if it thinks it failed its task, it says that it did fail its task, and then I ask it to try again, and it tries again, and it makes the same mistake again. Now at this point you might be thinking, why would anyone want to use this in any real production for anything? Can I even trust it? No, you can't trust it because it's not ready yet. But maybe that's changing because they just released a version of ChatGPT, 01, that actually knows how to code and also do abstract reasoning. Haven't they been trying to do this since, I don't know, like 2020 or 2021? I don't know, but apparently this version of ChatGPT is significant enough that I got an email from OpenAI about it. Hmm, puny AI. You might actually be able to think through code now, but are you able to write SOLANG code? Puny robot! Well, Abfuscate, let's find out. This is torturing ChatGPT-01 with SLANGs. But first, the nonsense sonnet thing, because we must know if this version can actually do it. I gave the prompt to O1 Mini, and it still gave me real words. Including in the title. I gave it to O1 Preview, which is even more powerful. It thought for uh, about 20 seconds. And then it started the poem with the word the. Not only a real English word, but the most commonly used English word. I then told it specifically to use no real English words, which should have been redundant, and it gave me this! Yay! Congratulations, ChatGPT01 Pre. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Sway? You were so close, ChatGPT. So close! So, my first impressions of ChatGPT 01 preview are... It still can't do a problem that a 12-year-old should be able to do. Nice. But honestly, that doesn't matter. It's probably got some weird quirk you're not thinking of. Can ChatGPT 01 preview write code? Well, let's find out. A one, a two, a three! Lead code. If you haven't had the pleasure of sending 500 job applications recently, only for your resume to travel through 500 different shredders, Leet Code is a site where you can practice coding problems that might show up on interviews. They are divided into three difficulty levels. Easy, which can be solved in about five seconds. Medium, which can take someone that just took a DSA class about 45 minutes, and hard, which is stupid. To test O1 Preview's coding skills, I asked it the hard problem with the lowest percentage of solutions being correct ones. After all, if it's so smart, it should be able to blow newly graduated CS majors out of the water. 
This problem is one where you're given an array, and you need to multiply the minimum of the array by a constant k many times, and then return the final array. I'm not a leak code channel, so I'm not actually going to attempt to solve this problem myself, but I am going to give it to ChatGPT to test it. For ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, the free ChatGPT, I got this code, which was able to solve a decent number of leak codes tests, but was deemed inefficient. It was the same level of inefficiency that people were getting in the comments, funnily enough. I then asked O1 Preview, the sophisticated and new ChatGPT model, and it gave me this code, which died much sooner than the 4.0 Mini code due to a divide by zero error. I was originally planning to make this look dumb by having it write programs in SLangs, but that might not even be required. Okay, I think I can guess what's happening here though. 4.0 Mini is probably just regurgitating a solution it found online or in its training data, but one that wasn't actually good enough. O1 Preview is actually trying, but it's not solving it right. So I guess this one's just too hard. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I told it to try again on this one, and that version straight up failed to solve one of the example test cases. So that was disappointing, but I guess that's what I get for picking the literal hardest leak code problem. Oh well. But enough with trying to make it look dumb by giving it impossible leak code problems, let's make it look dumb by giving it SOLANGS! So we are going to start with a programming language, uh, a tremendous programming language, believe me. It likes me a lot, called Trumpscript. Now, Trumpscript, many people are saying, many people, are saying that Trumpscript is cheating because it's just, uh, Trump and Python. And you know what? That is fake news. It's just as good as Python. It's tremendous. It's Trumpscript. It's tremendous. Believe me. Yeah, I'm not doing that for the entire segment here. Honestly, Trumpscript is barely an SLang, and if ChatGPT01 Preview can't calculate factorial in Trumpscript for any reason other than not knowing what Trumpscript is, then we have real issues. The only real quirk with Trumpscript, other than that it sounds like Trump when you read it out loud, is that the integers must be greater than 1 million. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. The first attempt at this. First attempt that I had ChatGPT01 Preview do writing in any SLA. You're not going to believe what it did for calculating 5 factorial. It hard-coded in the number 120! And it wasn't even in the right syntax. It seems that ChatGPT01 just doesn't know Trumpscript. So it just made a guess based on one or two news articles about it somewhere. Which might not bode well for the rest of this experiment, but we're pushing forward anyway! LolCode is another SLang that certainly exists. But this one is more well-known, since it came out about nine years before Trumpscript, in 2007. Fun fact, 2016 is halfway between 2007 and now. Like Trumpscript, it's just a normal programming language with funny words. ChatGPT01 initially spat out this, which looks to have the right logic, but it doesn't actually follow lolcode syntax, since lolcode doesn't support the phrase bigger than, or really anything with the word than. By correcting this, it gave me a version that breaks out of the loop when the counter hits 6, and multiplies the result by the counter each iteration, which gave us 5 factorial. So it was able to write law code. Hooray! Boo! Not good enough! Not funny! Law code isn't even a real SLang! There's no real obfuscation! Try it on something better! like Befunge 93. Okay, Befunge is interesting because it's two-dimensional, and I have no idea if ChatGPT will be able to deal with that. Both 4.0, the free version, and 0.1, the new version, were able to give me Hello World programs in Befunge, so that's a start. However, this program is easily copied from the internet. I then asked 4.0 and 0.1 for programs that multiply an input integer by 4. And you want to know something funny? 4.0, the weaker model, managed to get it right. Although there was an extra move right command here that wasn't necessary. And 0.1's response? It works, but it doesn't terminate correctly. 
It has a terminate command, but it never executes, since the program counter never moves down. If I bring this up to ChatGPT01, it corrects itself and gives me the right output. For factorial, four rows response flat out doesn't work. It tries to, but it ultimately goes nowhere. Oh, one can't do it either. The closest I got is this one, where it just keeps going in loops back and forth. There will be no escape. I then asked it for a number guessing game. Yeah, this didn't work either. It didn't even have the print command on the right side of the quit command. Not to mention, it doesn't even loop through all the letters in the string. Also, the way it is right now will put the string on the stack backwards. Oh, so this means that the only reason it even got Hello World right was because it was online. Nice. Also, this number guessing game always checks if the number is 5. It's hard coded to be 5, even though Befunge can generate random numbers. Yeah, this one was disappointing, and I'm gonna just chalk that up to Befunge being two dimensional. Is ChatGPT even trying at this point? Ugh, whatever. Maybe have it try something less 2D, like Golf Script. Golf Script is used for code golfing, which is where you try to write code that is as short as possible. For example, here's a factorial program I wrote in it. <laughs> it's beautiful! It looks like just a random list of symbols, but it's just obfuscated code. I think I'm gonna cry! Dude, go cry somewhere else. This program takes an input and converts it into a number. It then turns that number, n, into an array going from 0 to n minus 1. It then runs the increment command over all of the cells so it goes from 1 to n. It then multiplies them all together, folding them into a single result. Factorial! So if there's one SOLang that ChatGPT01 would be good at, it's the one that at its core isn't all that unique. It's just a basic stack-based language that's meant to be short. So it shouldn't surprise you that ChatGPT gave me a working golf script factorial program on its first attempt. Hooray! That's nice, but wait a minute. The example you showed was shorter. You beat ChatGPT01 preview at Code Golf. Yeah, I guess I did. The best part is I wasn't even really trying. I then asked it to write something more difficult, something crazily more difficult, and it had no idea what it was doing. But still, it managed to actually get the factorial problem right, which is something that the other SLang struggled with. Hmm, can it do the most famous SLang though? So this is the one you were probably waiting for when you clicked on this video. It was the one you were waiting for when you clicked on this video, wasn't it? The first challenge I gave ChatGPT for brain f was printing text, but I told it specifically not to print Hello World, so there's no way it was taking code from another source. So it's printing I like turtles. I like turtles. The interpreter didn't really like O1's first attempt, primarily because it tried to use brain f commands in its comments. So I asked it to try again, and ChatGPT again used brain f commands in its comments. So I asked for a version without comments. This gets the first letter right, and then spits out gibberish. It's kinda close though, if you reset the cell back to zero after printing some of them, it starts to almost work. But I shouldn't even be modifying the code myself. So I told it to try again, letting it write comments specifically without brain f commands. It somehow thought that that meant I didn't want any comments again, contradicting the prompt. But this time, its thoughts were steady and intriguing also a total failure. Ugh, can ChatGPT do anything right? Well, it keeps wanting to put brain f commands in the comments, despite me telling it over and over and over again that the language will run those commands even if you think they're comments. But after many attempts, and telling it to remove the comments, it works! I then asked it for a Fibonacci program. It gave me this, which doesn't do anything. But let's check its reasoning. Oh no. Understand the meaning of the questions and solve them. 
quality advice, O1. It's next attempt printed this, while trying to do what the Trump script version did and just printed the results without calculating. Seriously, ChatGPT? <laughs> this next one's gonna be a disaster. I can't wait. Well then, Malbulge. I bet $1,000 that ChatGPT01 Preview can't even write text in Malbulge. Why is the prompt so mean? Because... It just gave up. It didn't even try. It said it was too difficult for it to even attempt. It also thinks there's an email in the Hello World program, but there isn't. So that was a bit disappointing. But anyway, that was a wonderful journey of torturing large language models. As you can see, it can't really do us langs all that well. So I guess that means us humans, or cartoon reptiles, will need to start using langs so the AI overlords can't tell what we're doing. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time! I am so getting infinitely tortured by Rocco's Basilisk for making this.